Welcome back to KB's Kingdom, cooking with KP. And today I'm going to show you how I roast or spit roast a turkey on my barbecue. All right, let's get on with it. First thing we need is a turkey. This is a nice small turkey. It is around about 3.8 kilos. The first thing I want to do is I want to truss the wings. So I'm just going to make a uni knot loop. That's a different video for a different time. Simply make my loop and I'm going to slide that over one wing just like I'm doing there. I'm going over the backbone of the turkey because I don't want to interfere with the breast meat at all. I want to keep that as in as nature intended. Nice, plump and juicy. So we're going to tie these wings together just like I'm doing there. There's no real rocket science to this. You don't trust a turkey like you would do a chicken, if you had seen that video of mine. If you haven't, go back, have a look. It might interest you, it does work. But we've got our rear cavity, and all we're going to do is put in our stuffing. This is stuffing of your choice, but if you go back to my last video, I showed you how to make this beautiful apple and cranberry stuffing and it is a really good stuffing, believe me. So we're gonna put that in, and this is the dry version of the stuffing. It's not the stove top, as I do show you in that video. We, uh, I told you in that video how I, uh, or where I stopped to make that beautiful stuffing to fill this bird. Right, very simply, I've got a butcher's needle and butcher's twine which I know everybody doesn't have, but we simply go through one side of that opening, go through all the way to the other, and we're just gonna pull that twine through, just like I've done there, and we're just gonna make a nice little knot, just a very simple granny knot, and we're gonna start sewing all of this shut. Very, very basic. All right, we'll cut that twine off and I'm going to put in another couple of stitches up the opening just so we make sure that stuffing stays inside. If you don't have this twine, you could use a bamboo skewer if you wish and just thread that through and that will work just fine. If you're doing this in an oven, you might not need to do this, even though I still would, that's me and it just keeps everything nice and simple. Another loop with my uni knot around one of the ankles of the bird. And all I'm gonna do is wrap that around the other leg. And I usually go in a, a figure eight type configuration between the two legs to make sure they stay together and will not move away from the carcass itself. All right, once again, very simply, just a couple of granny knots, one on top of the other, a double knot. You could even use a triple if you wish, just to make sure those legs do not separate. Okay, and again, what we're going to do is any of the excess tags of that twine, we're just going to cut those off so they won't hit the barbecue or even in a worst case scenario, if you're doing them over coals, catch fire. I'm working out where my bird is actually going to sit. So I'll put it down in its little tray. I'm gonna put the spit rod through the rear of the bird, just like I'm trying to do there, I'm trying to get that in between those stitches. And we're going to go through the neck, trying get a rough balance of the bird on the spit and we can insert our forks into the flesh itself. So I've got that done and I'm working out our weight on the front. Remember the breasts of the bird are actually quite heavy so we want to try and get all of that weight distributed as evenly as possible which means moving the spit bar closer to the breasts and making sure we can get some more weight onto the backbone of the bird so our spit will spin evenly and easily. It will take you a couple of goes. I've cut tons of footage out of this video. 
just to show you the basics of it but once I'm fairly happy with it um, I will tighten down all the forks first by hand and then I'll use a little spanner and just make sure they are nice and cramped up tight. This is a, a little spit unit that runs on two D cell batteries, three volts, and I've used these a lot of times in the past. I've made plenty of spits using these. I've used LPG gas bottles, I've used kitchen sinks. Believe me, they work a treat. This bird was a little bit heavy for this particular spit, but it worked. Right, once we're happy with the balance and we've tucked any extra wing parts up underneath our cords or our twine, I'm just gonna give it a nice little spray paint with some spray canola oil. Yes, I do say don't use spray canola oil in just about every one of my videos. This is fine. That oil will get into every nook and cranny of the bird which is what we want, it's going to add just a real basic basting. And now my secret ingredient. I call it SPOG. You've heard of SPG, salt, pepper, garlic. This is salt, pepper, garlic with onion powder. And yes, I do use two different types of peppers. I use a black pepper and I use a white pepper. Perfect seasoning for this particular meat. It didn't overpower the meat. It didn't dry out the meat, it gave me a really nice crispy skin, but you'll see all that in a minute. Right, we want to cook this for about 25 to 30 minutes per half kilo or pound, and we want to cook that at 160 degrees Celsius until it is done. So, 25, 30 minutes per half kilo, we're checking this around about an hour in, look at the color of that skin. Those herbs, or those, sorry, those spices, and the oil are giving us a beautiful golden color. And here we are, we're just about done. I've fast forwarded a couple of hours. We want to cook this for about three and a half hours for this particular bird. This barbecue does tend to cook a little bit quicker. Use an internal thermometer. Make sure you've got an internal temperature, 74 degrees Celsius. Once I just reach that through the breast and through the thicker part of the thigh, you're ready to take it off. You can take it off, I'm putting this just on a, a roasting rack on a roasting pan, just as is, including the 1.2 meter spit bar. But we're just gonna get that blanketed right up. We're gonna tuck him into bed. We're gonna make sure he's comfortable. We wanna let him rest. Just like you need rest and I need rest, your turkey needs rest as well. So we're gonna put a little blanket over the top and make sure he's happy and let all those juices redistribute all the way through the rest of that meat. I'm gonna leave that for about 20 minutes. I will then remove the spit bar. Come on, get him tucked in. I will remove the spit bar and then I'm ready for my next little step. I'm not quite done resting yet. So. We've given that time, we've removed the spit bar. I'm just gonna take his little blanket off for a minute, just like that. And then with the help of a friend, we can lift that bird up, get a little chopping board underneath, and we're gonna put a little blanket on top. That bird is still incredibly hot, believe me. We will still probably get a reading of about 65 degrees internal temperature. That is how well the turkey contains its heat. All right, so that chopping board is gonna work as a beautiful little area for us to remove our legs. And then I'm gonna remove the wings. They're my parts, they're my favorite bits. And now I'm gonna slice up the breast. And for this particular meal, there was only two of us, so I'm only using half the bird. The other half of the bird, you'll have to come back and look later and see what I did with the rest of the bird. Stuffing, that is my favorite, so spoonful for me, thank you. All right, let's play it up and let's make this look like a little old school roast dinner. A couple of roast potatoes, which we also cooked on the barbecue, some corn, fresh corn that we also cooked 
in the husk on the barbecue pour over your favorite gravy or sauce up to you and there we go kp's spit roast turkey if you like this video hit that like button it gives me confidence it should also make you feel good too by saying something positive i want you to hit that notifications bell that way you'll be notified every time i release a new video but more importantly i want you to come and join the family hit that subscribe button and you'll never miss another one of my videos how good or how bad they are again i will see you next time bye